Yeah. I remember the day that I left Gucci, my last day, which was in April. And I came home, and I remember I just got into my bed, pulled all the drapes, and went to sleep. And I woke up the next morning, and my calendar, it was usually so full. You know, London here, Paris here, Milan here, LA here, da da da, appointment, 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 appointment. And there was just nothing. There was nothing. And I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I was supposed to be. I think because I had everything happen so young and I became successful both financially and creatively and felt very satisfied and fulfilled in my 30s, um, early 30s, that by the time I turned 40, I was becoming really a bit burned out with what I was doing. And I had every material thing that anyone could want. I had houses all over the world and really could, you know, great paintings. And I had a wonderful person that I live with, Richard Buckley. Uh, we've been together 24 years now. I had, you know, dogs that I loved and horses I loved and I had everything. But yet something was missing from my life. And I realized also, you know, 40 years have gone by and that's half your life if you're lucky, and where's the rest of it gonna go? And so I hit a real low. But I had always been interested in film and obsessed with film, and in the mid-90s decided that at some point in my future, when I had the time, when I left Gucci, as I retired, I was gonna make movies, which I didn't realize people were laughing at until later, uh, when I actually made a film, and they said, wow, I, we didn't think you could make a movie. You know, how did, how did that feel when everyone thought you were just, you know, crazy and that it was a joke? And I said, you thought it was a joke? Uh, I had no idea that people really thought this was a ludicrous notion.